Don't you just love Oculus Meta updates? If you're blocked out of the headset with these errors, you've come to the right place. You could also be encountering issues with the headset booting up and getting stuck at the Meta Oculus logo. This video goes into the common best solutions to these two errors and is also a follow-up to the previous video on the same subject. This channel, we focus on making sure you are up and running with your headset because you can't experience your VR story if you can't get your headset working. As of posting this video, we are on version 38, going into version 39 for the Quest 2 and the Oculus Meta app on the PC. The root cause of these issues have been around for a while, many of which occur during a recent update. You could be experiencing a combination of errors as described earlier with each new update. For example, you could also be experiencing the stuck at logo error as well, so some of the solutions in this video might resolve problems all at once. The items you'll need are obviously your headset, a cloth to cover the whole headset in order to cover the external sensors, and if you have SideQuest pre-installed or developer mode, you're going to have additional options to solving these problems. How about that? You will have varying successful results with the solutions provided. However, as we progress through the list, the solutions provided have a higher chance of solving the issues. These solutions were a combination of research and contributions from the community. Here are some quick and easy solutions. You know, just wait a day or two and don't use your headset. The headset could update while not in use. Set up brighter light sources in the room so that the headset sensors can detect the light sources a little bit easier. You can also move in a different room or return to the room where the headset worked before. You could be in a situation where you're unable to get the main menu when turning on your headset. This is where you'll need the cloth to cover the headset. This will disable six degrees of freedom so you won't be able to traverse inside a 3D space. So make sure that your controllers are in front of the headset visible to you because you will only be able to pivot the headset and controllers in place. You will be able to point the cursor to interactable areas. Navigate to settings, set up stationary guardian boundaries. You can also reset all guardian history, adjust sensor sensitivity, etc. You can also disable the Guardian on the Oculus app on the PC when connected via link cable or air link. Go to settings in the headset, user interface, and disable the Guardian. Full disclosure, I still don't have developer mode set up on my headset. There was a suggestion to be able to turn off the Guardian from there. So if you do have it, shut off the Guardian in developer mode. Again, just like the developer mode, I don't have side quest set up. However, it was a suggestion that was provided in the comments section, similar to the solution for using developer mode. On your PC or mobile, open side quest. You want to go to the installed app sections. Search for com.oculus.guardian, click the settings icon, then click clear app data, then restart the headset. To no surprise, a factory reset could resolve the issue. It's the most common solution. More updates, more problems, you know. In all seriousness, I know it's frustrating. To be fair, Meta is really cranking out these updates. We are all part of the inertia that flows and we encounter things that give us a little bit of a headache. With that being said, did any of the solutions help? Do you have a solution that worked that you want to share? Let me know in the comment section below. Special thanks to these viewers for sharing their clever solutions. Ash the Boss, who provided the side quest solution. Troopy, who provided the developer mode. Kratos, Kayak Marquee, and Eternal Repeat provided the cover the headset. And that's it. Keep the channel in your back pocket. Like, share, and subscribe. And see you guys soon.